Matthew started at Portland Christian when he was three years old in preschool. I'm proud of him. He's graduating, but it's kind of like the end of an era. He's had such a great experience this last year and a half with, with COVID and, um, you know, doing school from home for a little while and the challenge of trying to figure out sports and those kinds of things. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, kind of looking back on the last 18 years and thinking they went so very quickly. Um, so we'd like to take a quick opportunity to give out the honor cords, to give out cords for those who were in National Honor Society, and there's a whole list of others. I think one thing I really realized this past year was that time flies like crazy, especially senior year. Um, I feel like I kind of got my senior year cut short, but I'm so thankful to the teachers and the administration, Mr. Wagner, that worked so hard to keep us back in school, to just have events, have sports. Our school year does feel like it was cut short and it feels like it's gone by so fast. Um, I remember always like saying that I wish I, I want to graduate already and now like I would so do high school just one more year. So just make sure that you make memories that you can look back on. Hi. I am doing backflips. You will be crying later. Probably. Yeah, I'm that's sure true. you will, usually. I'm, I'm crying right now. Are you? Yeah, inside. that's why I have sunglasses on. Yes. But it is raining a little bit too, so you can't really can't tell. Really tell. Uh, I am just really excited for Carly and just, you know, it's been a wonderful experience at PC. So PC's really prepared them and uh, taught them great uh, godly principles. So I don't think any of us could have predicted the year that we have just endured. And as we approached graduation just a few weeks ago, we were not even sure we'd be able to have a graduation outside of our doors. But God is faithful and he has provided this opportunity and we give him all the praise as we come together to celebrate each and every one of you. So graduates, today you turn the page on an important chapter in your life as you step out into a post-pandemic world. Many of you are imagining what it might be what might be possible as you make this transition from high school to college, while others of you may be anxious about what your life might look like as you launch into adulthood. You are about to step into a world made up of individuals who act as if they have it all figured out. But when it comes to relationships, to finances, family dynamics, physical health, emotional wellness, or professional growth, we are all still a work in progress, myself included. We are made for community. Asking for help doesn't make us weak, it makes us real. And if there's one thing we absolutely need in this world right now, is real people. Micah states it best in chapter 6, verse 8. And what does the Lord require of you? To seek justice, to love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Now, before I close, I would like to take a few minutes to express my gratitude and appreciation to all the parents, grandparents, guardians, and family members who have supported these graduates. You have partnered with us over the years to provide your child with an excellent, biblically-based education. I know you have sacrificed so much in order for this to happen. So, graduates, this would be a great time for what you have done to the faculty, for your commitment to the school, and for pouring out your hearts and your experiences in life into the lives of these young men and young women. And the first thing is this, is you got to be careful to, uh, what and to who you tie yourself to. One more crucial step to take is putting your knowledge of the Bible into practice. Portland Christian has blessed us all in their commitment to educate their students' faith-based lives. Thanking my mother and father for giving birth to me in a small city of Ethiopia, 
Thank you for immigrating from Ethiopia to the United States. Thank you for the countless hours you have worked to provide me with every opportunity possible, for every door that you have opened for me, for every car ride that led to you guys telling me the importance of education. It was kind of tough, but I finally did it. ...the Christian education for 12 or more consecutive years. So when I call your name, I'd love for you to stand up, graduates and family members. And at the end, we'll give them all a big round of applause. Jerry Barr. Go ahead and stand up, gentlemen. Carly Bruner. Christina Bakashuk. Cameron Gomez, Matthew Griffith, Nathan Hansen, Catherine Yoni, and Olivia Stumitz. Let's give them all a big round of applause. and softball. She is a member of the National Honor Society and the student body president. Abby graduates with the Jean Lampy Scholars Diploma with high honors. She plans to attend George Fox University in the fall and pursue an MBA. Her favorite scripture is Matthew. Cameron Gomez. basketball, baseball, and golf. Cameron is a member of the National Honor Society. He graduates with a Jean Lampy Scholars Diploma with high honors. His favorite scripture is Colossians 3.23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. We have two more remote students, Jason Kim. Hugh has attended UC for two years and has played soccer. He will attend Portland Christian, excuse me, Portland Community College in the fall. His favorite verse is Psalm 51. Well, you have arrived at the end, the last moments of high school, and now the big adventure awaits. If you'll indulge me for one more minute, I would like to say thank you. You have made this year one I hope to never repeat. <laughs> Tolerable. All right, more than tolerable. You were a blessing that God hid in the midst of hardship.
did it. We feel great. <laughs> We're very, very proud of her. She's done feel an excellent job. So this is our last um, child, youngest child out of four children to graduate from Portland Christian. So we love Portland Christian and value the education very highly. Time. We're truly blessed to have, you know, a, a great young man that's that's endured and done his work and grown as a as a human being and made a lot of friends here. I think today was fabulous because we were able to see all the accomplishments of all the graduates and I frankly was tickled pink that the majority of them are going to great schools and they have great heads um, on their shoulders and they're thinking straight and I'm looking forward to seeing them in the future. A little, uh, little strange. This is the, this, he's the youngest of four, so our time at PC coming to an end for a little while, at least. Maybe, maybe the baby over here. The grandson will, uh, might come. You never know. Be coming here in the future, but yeah, it's a little, a little sad, a little melancholy. But yes, he but, did it. But he did it. <laughs> they all did it. God does indeed have plans to bless you. In fact. He pours out his blessings on everyone. Jesus said he would send the rain. Now I know what that counts for. Jesus said the rain comes on the righteous and the unrighteous. Because God is a God of blessing. And I pray that in your life you find many, 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 many blessings hidden in your path. But if you want the greater blessings of God, the big things that we so often hope for, long for, and dream about, you need to know that God has a message about that. It is seen at the end of that text that we read from Jeremiah. God says, call upon me. Come and pray to me and I will listen to you. When you seek me, you will find me. When you seek me with all your heart. So class of 2021, seek God. Love the Lord. Pursue Him. Seek all the blessings. praise and glory for your creation and for the wonder of the young people that we have spent this year with. We pray your greatest blessings to be upon them, that you will go with them, care for them, protect them. Father, we ask that the road ahead of them would be as level as possible, but filled with plenty of mountain peaks. Father, we offer you these young people, thanking you for the time you have given them to us. Bless them. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen.